Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to add the game over surface. So what we want to do basically is to have the game over surface displayed when the game is over. Inside the project folder I've got an image for that called game over. So we're going to import this image onto a surface and that will be displayed when the game is over. I have imported the game over image surface on line number 101, created a variable called game underscore over underscore. Called surface and I'm using the pygame.image.load to load the image from my project folder. I'm also using the convert underscore alpha method so as to prevent the drawing of a black square around the image. On line number 102, I've created a variable to store the rectangle that is going to be used to place the image inside. So the game over image is going to be embedded in the rectangle which is stored on the variable called game underscore over underscore rect and I want to use the rectangle to position the image in the center of the display screen so which is going to be roughly 144 on the X and then 256 on the Y. The next step is to display this surface when the game is actually over. So I'm going to do that inside the else block of the game loop. So this is my else block of the game loop. So I'm using the screen.blit, the blit method on the screen, which is the display surface. And I'm passing in the surface I want to display, which is the game over underscore surface. And I'm also passing in the rectangle that is going to embed that surface. So this surface will only be displayed if the game is over. As I'm testing the game, as you can see, the game over surface is being displayed when the game is over. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to add some sound effects to the game. To import sound in Pygame, we need the Pygame Mixer module. So we want to play some sounds when certain activities occur in the game. For example, when the bird jumps or flaps following the pressing of the spacebar button on the keyboard, we want to be able to play a sound. We also want to play a sound when there is a collision. So when the bird hits a pipe, we want to play a sound. We also want to play a sound when the game score is updated. The sound files are located in my main project directory inside a directory called sound. These are the different sound files. So we're going to be using some of these files in the project. Before importing sound files, I want to pre-initialize the Pygame Mixer module. The pre-initialization of the Pygame Mixer module is important. It prevents the slow buffering and delay with the playing of a sound file. So if you don't pre-initialize it, when you try to activate the sound files, there might be a lapse in delay before the sound actually plays. So it's a good idea to always pre-initialize it first. The pre-initialization basically tells the Pygame init method to initialize the mixer in a certain way. So I've added the line of code on line 65 here. So I am pre-initializing the Pygame Mixer just before the Pygame 
is initialized on line 67. The pre-init method on line 65 takes in four arguments. The first argument is the frequency and by default the frequency is 44100. The second argument is the size of the sound file. By default this is set to 16. The third argument is the channels. By default this is 2 but I have set it to 1 because I only want to use one channel. The fourth argument is the buffer which is very important for quality and I've set the buffer size to 512. So this pre-initialization is important so as to play the sound files on time when the activities occur. I have imported the three sound files I will need and I've stored them inside different variables. So line 108 I've called the variable flap underscore sound and I'm using the pygame.mixer to import that sound using the sound method. So the sound is located in the sound directory of my project and the name of the file is sfx underscore wing dot wav so it's a WAV file. Line 109 the variable called collision underscore sound. Again this is going to store the sound that will be played when there's a collision and the name of the sound file is sfx underscore hit dot wav. The third sound file I have imported I've stored in a variable called score underscore sound and I've used the pygame.mixer.sound method to import it and the name of the file is called sfx underscore point dot wav. So this is the sound that will be played when the game score is updated. So these are the three sound files I'm going to be using in the game. Next thing is to decide where in the code to activate the sound. So I'm going to start with the first sound which is the flap underscore sound variable. So this is the sound I want the bird to make when the bird jumps or when the bird is flapping. To activate the sound when the bird is flapping or jumping I'm going to play that sound inside the game active. So I only want that sound to be played when the game is active. So inside my game active event on line number 124 this is where I'm calling the variable called flap underscore sound and I'm using the play method to play the sound that is stored in that variable. So this is where the sound for the bird flap and jump will be activated from. The next sound I want to activate is when there is a collision that is when the bird hits a pipe. So I'm going to activate that sound inside the check collision function. So inside the check collision function on line number 30 this is where I'm going to play the sound where there is a collision. So on line 30 here I'm calling the variable collision underscore sound and I'm using the play method to play the sound stored inside this variable. I also want to play a sound when the score for the game is updated. For this the implementation is slightly different from the other two. I've created a variable on line 111 and I've called the variable score underscore sound underscore countdown and I've given it a starting value of 100. So I'm going to activate this variable inside the game active event loop. So I'm activating the game score sound variable inside the game active event loop. Inside the game event loop I've added the code from line 155 to 
8. So basically what's happening here, I am calling the variable called score underscore sound underscore countdown on line 155 and I'm reducing the count by 1. So each time the event loop goes round, that count is going to be reducing from the initial start count of a hundred. What's happening inside this block of code is that we want to play sound if the number increases by a whole number and then inside this game loop we are reducing the sound count by one on each cycle of the loop. So if the score for the sound count variable is less than or equals to zero, we want to play the sound and reset the sound count variable back to 100. So that's basically the sound effects implemented. So I'm going to save the code. We can run the game and then listen out for the three different sound effects. So I've got the game running, so let's listen out for the sound effect when the bird jumps or flaps. So this is it, this is when the bird jumps. And then when the bird hits the pipe, this is what it sounds like. And then when the count is updated, so that's the count updated. So this video concludes the end of the Flappy Bird project. You can obviously make improvements to this game, customize it to your own taste like I have done. I've customized it to my own taste. So feel free to play around and experiment, make it better. what you've learned from here you can use that to create more games thank you so much take care and bye for now